Okay, hello guys, PN146 here. Welcome to today's video. So we are playing, we are playing on the black side of uh, um, against a 2,148 rated Ladi 51. Against 1D4, we've acid the Karakan, we've acid 1D5. So today we are going with the Piet. Defense with D6, Knight of 6, and G6. The idea is that we're going to flank it to our bishop here and hope you don't get crushed. <laughs> no, but it's, um, it's one of these uh, hyper modern openings where we we um, we try and control the center, not with the pawns, but with our pieces first. He goes a4, which is the first move that strikes me as interesting because I can play a5 and then control this b4 square forever, right? Where my knight is going to come in here. Then. Have a fine square to play around with. So I don't know why he wants to play for. I mean, I wasn't really going to play b5, but as he's not castled on his side. So, what gives? I think I will do that actually. Rook here, knight a6. H3. Mm -hmm. I'll put the knight on b4. No need to, I think that one. Now, what do I do? Where do I want to put my bishop? That is the question. H3 was actually. Stop my bishop from coming to g4. I don't think my bishop does that great on e6 because I, I do want to play e5 eventually. Um, so do I just keep the bishop there until I achieve e5? Can I play e5 now? So it's another question. If takes takes knight takes. Do I have like knight takes e4? Guess that doesn't work. Oh, c2. Okay, that's work. I can actually play. Here. E5. Uh, the point is that after takes takes, if queen takes, rook takes, then c2 becomes very tender. So he has to waste time at least to defend it and then I'll, I'll protect e5. And if takes takes, knight takes, and he takes, I mean, I, I already looked at he takes. Um, if takes takes, he just takes, then I, I can take and then um, c2 is still. So yeah, that knight on b5 is giving me a lot of options. And if I can, I can play b5 and um, e5, I should be fine. Okay. I think I should be doing okay because I get to release the power of this bishop together with this knight they, they are very fine pieces so here I can play rook e8 Maybe I take first. I'm not sure that to take first and play rook eight or to play rook eight immediately. Maybe something like queen e seven. It's also an option. But uh, I think I'll play. I'll take first. And then play rook eight. There's not really any particular reason why. I didn't really have time to calculate deeply. Um, those two variations, so I'm just playing this because of reasons. Pinky seven. 
Joker. I mean Queen Queen D2. I am I am not what. Um, yeah, in retrospect, maybe <laughs> maybe the other move was better because now it's he's doubling up on this D6, and unless I play D5. I guess I can't play d5, can't I? Yeah, I can. Okay, then it's fine. Um, then I play d5. You only need to be careful to take that rook first whenever it becomes possible to. Yeah. Before I I take back on. I take back. Mm -hmm. Oh, I could have uh, maybe taken with this guy just to keep this guy here so that Bishop here would coordinate with him and maybe. Yeah, so we have a. I still have to figure out how to develop these two guys, and on the basis of that, he he remains slightly better. But uh, it's not much. I don't think. It's not much. Although the more I look at it, the more I, I like his position. There are actually a few lines where I almost get blown off the board. Almost. Yeah, this was definitely not the, the best played uh, Piet anyone has ever seen. I mean, you know, if it gives me a couple of moves without doing anything, I, I will be fine, so maybe it's not so bad. Maybe it's not even that bad. Do I take back with the knight or do I take back with the queen? If I take back with the knight, this is dark square bishops come off the board. You can play c4. Okay, so taking back with the queen is actually forced. I can take back with the pawn, but no one likes to do that. Okay. Bishop f6, he goes c4. Oh, yeah, c4. Might be in some trouble. Okay, what do you do? I guess queen d8 back. That is really ugly. Okay. So it's really, really bad. I might just be lost here. 
Bishop f6, Queen f6. Rook e8, Bishop f8. Oh, then Queen h6. No, I have Queen g7. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm just holding on by a thread, which is not a good sign. It means it's probably very, very bad. And bishop f6, I can't take bishop f6 because of queen d8, bishop d8. Um, I should probably show these things. And then rook e8 would end the game. So here I have to take back with the queen. And the line I was calculating is rook e8 check, bishop f8 is forced. There was no knockout punch yet, so he's starting out with this one. But now I think I play I bishop out and um, I might be just fine. I guess bishop f5. I've no longer been any back rank threats. I think I get away with it a little bit. So you play g4. Okay. Oh. Ah, bollocks. I dropped my guy. Oh, he missed it. Ah. Yeah, that was just very, very bad. Okay. So, moral of the story is uh, don't play the pits. <laughs> oh, don't go, don't go too long time. Wow, that was just 20 moves. I actually get got miniature. That's a shame. Because the position wasn't, was actually quite decent after like this one. And e5. I think, I think I'd equalize after e5. Hmm, huh. not even close. Okay. I guess Bishop e3 is just very good. And taking gave him an advantage. I thought rook e8 was maybe fine. He couldn't take because of this c2 issues. Takes, 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 takes. And he has to play rook c1. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, okay, still a little bit, quite better for white. Yeah, I guess I, I never really equalized. Because after this, I definitely was not. Uh, yeah, I tried to push d5, it was a bit premature. I should have prepared it a little bit. Yeah, he seemed to get all the fun of them for this one. Just lost. Yeah, bishop f6 was already working. Okay, that's a shame. Bad game. Thank you for teaming all the same. Um, enjoy your chess. Remember to subscribe, comment, leave a like. See you later.